gunman who fired shots at the funeral of Clive Pinnock was chased down and attacked with a bottle and a knife. Mohamed Omar, who was 24, was jailed for six years and three months at Manchester Crown Court after admitting firearm offences. He suffered serious injuries in the shocking incident at Gorton Cemetery in April last year. The court heard that despite restrictions banning large gatherings, a crowd of around 300 people were in attendance at the funeral. The prosecutor, Charlotte Crangle, said the deceased was Clive Pinnock, who had died in a road traffic collision about two weeks earlier. So just want to say rest in peace, Clive, and my condolences go out to your family. He was well known in the Manchester area, so well known that the police were warned that the funeral would be well attended despite restrictions. However, the decision was made not to attempt to prevent the large gathering, but to monitor it from a distance. Following the funeral, a large number of people remained at Gorton Cemetery for what became an impromptu wake, with music being played from a PA system and lots of people socialising. Local residents had contacted police to reports of behaviour and to complain about the breaches of regulations. However, around 6.45pm a male was seen to enter the cemetery and he produced a handgun and began to fire shots towards a group of males. He was chased out of the cemetery by the males and assaulted. By the time the police arrived, he was found on the floor bleeding from a wound to his face. No one was injured in the shooting, but Omar was taken to hospital with serious facial injuries. It is believed he was attacked with a bottle and a knife. He also had black eyes and bruising. CCTV footage captured the moments after the gunshots were fired as Omar fled through the cemetery gates being pursued by a crowd of mourners. He was wearing dark clothing with a hood up and black latex gloves. At one point, he was seen to clearly point the gun back at the crowd, but he didn't appear to fire it. Several witnesses told police they heard up to four gunshots followed by screaming, shouting and people running. One heard a man shout, get him, and who sent you, before police arrived the court heard. Two women who had been visiting a grave at the same time told how they hid in bushes, fearing a gunman was under loose. They were extremely distressed, the prosecutor said. Despite CCTV footage showing Omar in possession of the handgun moments before police arrived, no weapon was actually found at the scene. Several bullet cases were recovered in the area near Mr Pinnock's grave, however the court heard. Five days after the shooting, police received an anonymous tip-off that the gun would be found in a bin on Manor Road in Levenshume. A police officer was dispatched to carry out a search which initially proved fruitless. The officer was then approached by a male who pointed towards a particular bin. He said in the black bin bag, the officer could feel something heavy. It was discovered to be a silver handgun. The weapon was described as a gun designed to fire blank cartridges that had been modified to enable it to fire live ammunition as well. Ballistics experts were able to match it to the bullet casings found at the cemetery. Omar of Burnage gave no comment in interview and the court heard he has given very little information to police or his own legal team beyond his guilty pleas to possession of a firearm with intent to cause fear of violence and possession of ammunition. His lawyer John Ryder QC said, I can't offer any insight into why the defendant behaved as he did beyond his own admissions. He has remained consistent in this throughout. Omar claims he was acting under pressure from others, the court heard, but he will not give any further details. He insists his intention was always to fire into the sky rather than at any individual, the court heard. Certainly, there is nothing in his background that suggests he does have gang affiliation or is a member of an organised crime group. Rather than contrary, he is from a thoroughly respectable family. His solicitor suggested the gun may have been taken away from the scene of the shooting to prevent it from being traced to someone who gave it to Omar. Whether or not he was put under some pressure to behave as he did, we can't positively assert, but it is a possibility. Judge Pratchett Field said there may have been a degree of coercion involved in Omar's actions, but added that he remained sceptical due to the evidence of planning involved, such as the latex gloves and dark clothing. He jailed Omar for six years and three months for possession of a firearm and four years for possession of ammunition. And it's believed that these sentences are going to run concurrently. So Clive Pinnock was 38, well known around Manchester, and he was riding a green Kawasaki motorbike on Hyde Road when it collided with a black BMW. This happened on April the 8th last year and he suffered fatal injuries at the scene and died in hospital later that night. So he grew up on the Anson estate in Longside. He was a popular figure on the Clubland scene in both Manchester and Ibiza. 
Thousands of people posted tributes on social media. Rest in peace, Clive Pinnock, Mr. IB for himself. Many, many great memories on the White Island beyond with you, my mate. Fly high, brother. So speaking after the court hearing, Detective Constable Terry McMillan said, This is a shocking act that took place in a location considered sacred to many, where people pay respects to their loved ones who have passed. Thankfully, no one was in the cemetery at the time of Omar's actions reported receiving any injuries. However, Omar's own injuries as a result of the assault proved to be relatively serious. He opened fire in such a busy open place showing the disregard he has not only for the law, but the safety of the general public and innocent passers-by. Cracking down on guns and the people who use them are significant priorities for our force and through this work we have taken over 100 firearms off the streets of Greater Manchester in the last year. The conviction and imprisonment of Omar is the latest success in making our city that much safer. So guys, there's a story coming out of the northwest. Let me know what you guys think. It's your boy GZ. Keep it locked, keep it real.